let's add a custom villager profession to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in the Italia once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom villager or villager profession to Minecraft. Now, this is actually way easier than you might expect. So in our tutorial mod package, we're going to create a new package called a villager. And inside of there, we'll need one singular class, and that is the mod villagers class. Now, this one is fairly straightforward as well. We're going to have two, actually three methods, two of which are going to register with well, number one, the profession and number two, the point of interest. Let's just start with the first one, public static villager profession register profession. And it's going to be have a string parameter called name and a point of interest type called type. Because what we have to do is a particular profession has a point of interest. So the point of interest is the block basically where this villager gets its profession from. Here we're going to return a registry, making sure we choose net Minecraft util registry, very important, register, registry dot villager profession, and then a new identifier with, of course, tutorial mod dot mod ID, and then passing in the name after the first parentheses, a comma, and then we want to call a villager profession accessor, this one right here, dot create, passing in the name again, comma type, so passing in the point of interest type, then an immutable set of, comma immutable set of, so immutable set dot of again, empty, and then a comma again, and then sound events dot, let's go entity villager work armor, that's going to be fine, and then ending it with a semicolon. All right, so what the frick is going on here? Well, first of all, we're making a new profession, right? So we're creating a new profession with, you know, this name and this particular point of interest. So what we want to do is let's actually take a look at the villager profession right here. So let's go to the villager profession and see what this basically does. So we can't create this like this because it's private. This is why we're using the villager profession accessor here that is basically already done by Fabric. So that's really cool and really awesome and it just gets us, you know, very easy. You can see the immutable sets here are items and secondary job sites. Those are in this case, we're not going to deal with those at the moment. We're just going to want, you know, a basic basic villager, basically. So that's going to be fine. You can always take a look like, you know, middle mouse point click, middle mouse point click, and you can see the other stuff here. So, you know, looking at the farmer, for example, I believe the farmer has a different stuff yeah, here. You can see as weed, weed seeds and stuff like that, that it can actually, you know, pick up as it's scheduled items. And you can see the block farmland is actually the secondary job site. So you can, you know, also add jobs there. But, you know, for the time being, we're not going to do that. We're also going to need another method. And that is going to be the following. This is going to be a public static point of interest type right here. And this is going to be the register OI method with a string parameter called name and a block parameter called block. And this is going to return registry dot register and then the registry dot point of interest type, this one, with a new identifier, tutorial mod dot mod ID, passing in the name after the first parentheses, once again, comma, and then point of interest type, let's see, interest type accessor, once again, dot call create, passing in the name, and then comma, an immutable set dot copy of, very interestingly enough, and then block dot, um, let's actually do the following. If this block is red, click on it, alt and enter to import it, and make sure you import net Minecraft block right here. And then this should also work block dot, this is going to be get state manager dot get states. So this one right here, the immutable list. And then after this parentheses, so the closing parentheses of the get states, and then the one after that, comma one, comma one. And then ending with a semicolon. And there you go. All of the code here is, of course, also available to you in the description below. Get a proposal or an individual just as well. So you don't have to type everything out yourself. And this is the so this is the point of interest. So it basically gets all of the states of the block that we want to, well, basically have as a point of interest so that, you know, it doesn't matter what the actual state is. It's always going to work. Ticket count simply means that how many different people can actually work at the same block. And then search distance just means, you know, how much is the villager actually going to search for this particular block. 
Now let's get the actual fields in here. So public static final point of interest type, right? This is going to be the blaster underscore poi, and this is going to be the register poi with the name blaster poi and the name, and then mod blocks dot, oh, mod blocks dot, and this is going to be the mithril blaster. There you go. And that is it. And then the second one is going to be the public static final villager profession. This is the blast master, because of course, why not? And this is going to be the register profession method, blast master, comma, and then passing in the blaster poi here. There you go. And then last but not least, the last thing we're going to need is a public static void setup poi method, setup poise actually. And then what we want to do is we want to say point of interest accessor again, call setup, and then passing in the blaster poi. This is extremely important. Do not forget this, otherwise it's not going to work. In this particular method, we need to also call right here. So at the very bottom in our on initialize method, mod villagers dot um, setup poise. There you go. And that should be that. So it's very important that you don't forget this, otherwise it will not work. So this is basically all that we need to do to get both our custom point of interest and also our villager profession. Now what's very important is that you can only have a point of interest for, you know, one each block once. So if I were to add, you know, a second one, which was like Blaster Poi 2, and I also have the same block in here, that's not going to work. Then it's going to say something like, uh, is already added to too many tags, something like that. So keep that in mind. If that error occurs, then that is the reason why. Uh, this, of course, also works with vanilla blocks. So I could, you know, put, put stone in here, for example. That would also work. But, you know, we're going to keep it at the Mithril Blaster for the time being. If I now wanted to add some custom uh, trade stuff to the Blastmaster, well, I can just do this in the mod registries where we've already done this here with the custom trades right here. So what I can just do is I could just duplicate this, the villager offers right here, and then instead of passing in this profession, we're just going to mod villagers, Blastmaster, and there you go. And now I actually have the custom stuff here as well. Let's just, uh, you know, yeah, keep this as well. And then let's just add a few more stuff, um, you, you know, more things here on level one. Let's just add the mithril, let's say the boots as well, you know, maybe something like that for maybe 12 of them. And then maybe the um, actual chest plate as well, maybe for 26, something like that. And then let's just add another one just so that we have this for level two, actually. All right, so change this to level two and then make it maybe the make it the hole because that's the most important one right let's that's going to be 64 emeralds because <laughs> that's the most important one and then let's just add some other stuff here as well just the ingot let's say or five and then the other one maybe just the, let's say the combo or maybe 50 something like that just so that we can basically see the stuff here so we can add this as well no worries at all so this is also going to work this is how you you know add the uh, trade offers to your custom villager as well and that is literally all that we need to do. It's really not that bad. It's not that, you know, all that bad. It's pretty straightforward, all things considered. Now, we still need a particular texture for this Blastmaster and also, very importantly, a, a translation. So the translation is going to be very interesting in our e underscore us JSON file. We're just going to actually copy this over. So this is going to be just like down here somewhere. So it's going to be entity.minecraft.villager Blastmaster. So this name right here is, of course, the same name as this one right here. This has to match, and that should be fairly self-explanatory. For the textures, uh, we go into the texture folder, entity, and then create a new directory called villager. And instead of there, we want to make a new folder called profession. And then I'm going to copy over the Blastmaster PNG. Now, this is just the armorer a little bit uh, basically recolored here because you know, making this custom stuff is actually fairly, like, uh, you know, it's not that easy to do this. You might be able to do this in Blockbench, actually. I was just thinking about this. So you might be actually, you know, able to mix a texture like this in Blockbench. Otherwise, you can always go down to the external libraries, uh, open this up, and then go to this one right here, Minecraft Project, Map, and so on and so forth. Let's open this up and go to Assets, Minecraft, Textures, and then go to the Entity, and then all the way down to villagers. So we put be here. There you go, profession. And then you can basically get the professions here as well. So you can see that this is pretty much the armor just in blue. And you can also see the other ones as well. I highly recommend checking this out and, you know, maybe changing a few things there. But that would be that for the time being. So that is actually all that we need to add. So let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. So let's just set down the blaster and let's set down a villager and let's see, there we go. 
he already has the job and there it is so mithra boots mithra chest plate let's just get some chest plates here let's get him leveled up and then we should also see the other types of things there you go we can get the hoe for an entire stack of emeralds what a great trade and then we don't have enough emeralds for the accountant bowl but that's gonna be fine so as you can see that's actually how easy it is to add a custom villager type to minecraft Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate it. Like, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.